just hit the joint before I wrote this Record label rebel, remember opening that Ole Miss Always saw the whole shit, always futuristic 2018, I made the Forbes cash kings list A wave of depression and anxiety for Christmas But I can never drown, I rose K. Winslet Gassed up, took a quick trip to my hometown Girls that were curving me, turn into my hoes now Be straight from Motown, shout out Mr. Porter B. Dot and everybody get your list in order This the album of the year by a long shot Barking got your dog drop, please don't tamper with my bucks Mike all stop. I don't care what y'all got, bitch this is my shit You ain't better act like a baby in my crib I wasn't invited, so I threw my own party Didn't let me join, so I got my own army I spoke harshly once or twice, boo hoo bitch Didn't matter, still went from who to who's who bitch Fuck a blue check, I'm a blue chip, reliable stock I reached the end of my rope and I started tying the knot And hell on, Della Dawn, my game's ill Lime with tequila or the heat to this J Will Make skills appear like magic, pass it Always been a king, I'ma share it if I have it I should wear my numbers on my chest like a nickname Trying to make the paper flip, I only play Squid Games New York Knicks fame, so she deep throat Then my D rose, then her knees broke I'm the G-O, no bullshit I was gonna take it off, but hold up, cause Ransom go crazy Let me, let me, show, let me show a few bars real quick I would've got on this beat, I would've murdered this shit. I don't take work from a peasant who cheat the job Never did I fall prey to a reverend who preached to God Never did I horseplay adolescence and leave a scar Some people lost faith, had the presence to beat the odds Too many obstacles and hurdles for me to dodge Put your face on a T, then ask can I see a large I'm passionately involved I hope Taking it after that, I can't, I can't keep on going after that, bro This nigga said, I put your face on a T and then ask can I see a large Motherfucking bars, man. That's some next level shit, man. Hey, man. Come on, man. You know how we do. Oh, man. You know. Oh, uh, like shit. Said, each and every. Oh, uh, shit. Boom, boom. Look at me fucking up. Okay. Ah. Uh Hey, fucking yo. Hey, man, welcome back to another motherfucking episode of the Light Up Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> Don't ad lib on Ethan. It's your boy, C's. I'm here with my nigga, Ethan. Eat yo, stop. <laughs> stop. Yes, bro. I like this. And we're back <laughs> for another week. Episode 16 or 15? 15. Look it up, 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 look it up. Where we at? 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 Come on, man. Where we at? Come on, man. 16. 16. Oh, my God. Yo, bro. 16 weeks back to back. 16 weeks back to back. Well, it's not really back to back, but you get the motherfucking Well, actually, it's back to back every week. Yeah, of course. Every day. Friday at 11. A.M. Not every day, but every Friday. On every single platform, YouTube, or Apple, Share motherfucking with your mom, Spotify. your dad, your sister, your brother, everybody. Because, you know, we fuck with you because you fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, man, today, you know, for the Smokers Report. I think you can hear Bruno in the background. You think so? That's a dog barking. And I got it off of YouTube, so there's no way that dog was in the shit. But anyways, you today, we back with some motherfucking lumpies, man. You know, this is the second time we smoked some lumpies. Uh, today, we smoking on some Frank Bank OG, you know? Yes, ma'am. I ain't gonna lie. This shit is gas. Like, this shit is really gas. But like we say each and every episode, if you don't know, do your motherfucking Google, do your Leafly, go to Google Images, and just, you know... See what niggas is really smoking on. This ain't no block work. This ain't no bullshit. This ain't no fucking twenty five dollar eighth. Like yo, bro, wait, how much is this shit? Like eighty, eighty five, ninety, ninety. This is ninety dollar eighth. I'm gonna say it, this is a ninety dollar eighth. We smoke different. Shout out to at the Smokers Club for always sponsoring us each and every episode and keeping us high and keeping us fly for sixteen weeks straight from L A to N Y C. Nothing but New York's New York's finest weed. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, bro, what's up, man? Oh, wait. Come on. Time out. Song bro, of the day. Song of the fucking day. Song of bro, the what's fucking wrong with day you, bro? was Blue like, Chip. I'm smack. Song of the day wait, was Blue Chip? Blue, what? No, Blue Chip. Oh. Chip. 
chip. Huh. I, I'm not going to lie. When I saw blue, I'm like, wait. I instantly I thought about, about to blue say, chew. Blue chew? What? Yeah. Shout out to my nigga Joey. <laughs> Anyways. Um, fucking get the song. <laughs> the song. The song. The song Blue Chip. You know what I'm saying? From Russ's new album. I'm not going to lie. Chom 2 is fucking fire. I heard it yesterday for the first time. The shit was crazy. I suggest that everybody go listen to it if you really like bars. You know what I'm saying? It's fire. Fuck Russ. Rick, fuck you. Rick Ross' uh, new album is, is fucking fire as well. You know what I'm Trying saying? Trying to feel rich. Future went crazy on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? He got him on a different vibe, bro. That shit was beautiful, bro. I just wish he didn't have that motherfucking Dream Doll feature. Like, I fuck with Dream Doll, but like, it was just weak. Okay, like, compared to the album, like, if that feature wasn't there, it would have been flawless. No shade, though. Anyways, how was your day, bro? It sounds like shade. But my day was pretty good. Oh, no, no, no. After she popped up with the fucking, with the New York fitted bra, you yeah. haven't seen, you seen that picture, right? Did you really? No. <laughs> my fuck, quick, quick. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, nah, Dream Doll is out of pocket, bro. She's really more out of pocket than some prison pants right now, bro. Some prison pants? That's yes, crazy. Bro. Yo, she pulled up with a dream, what I said, with a dream, with a fitted. Bro. That shit was fitted? Bro. I'm not going to... But I would never lie to you, bro. Fucking high as fuck. OD high as fuck. Look at this shit, bro. You got to go to hell. No offense. Who let her go outside like that? Her record label. <laughs> listen, you... Yo, lock her up. <laughs> please. Who let her go outside please, like that? Please, bro. Like, like, listen. I understand. Like, yo, look. I as, don't know. I no, don't no, no, understand no. that. What I'm saying is... As niggas from New York, we be letting shit certain slide. You know, well, excuse me, I, I ain't even speak no English. We let certain shit slide, but at the same time, it's kind of like, yo, bro, what the fuck are we really doing? Like, yo, bro, there's no way we letting this shit slide. Like, come on, bro. Like, you making this look ridiculous. Like, I understand we be doing some wild shit, but bro, come on, bro. Not nah, the, the fitted bra is like, yo. It was one thing when y'all when y'all when y'all started going crazy wearing fitteds, you know, do what y'all do. But you don't like when girls wear fitteds. For me, there should be no reason why me and my shorty got matching hat club fat and fucking fitted. Why not? If I know that's not her vibe, why the fuck are you wearing a fitted for? So you would say that if it's her vibe, you would like it? I mean, if it fits you, if it suits you, if that's who you really are and you wear it here and there short, but if you're wearing a fitted- I mean, every- we're not talking about dykes. No, 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 dykes, I know, I know, I know. You know I'm saying, but if you're wearing a fitted every day, no, I'm not going out with you. The fuck? Interesting. <laughs> No, like once in a blue, like, like here and there is short. But if you if not, if you wear a fitted every day, nah, there's no way, bro. It's pretty interesting though that like Would you? Nah. It's crazy. I don't know. It's just like Bro, when, every time we kiss, we gotta like somebody gotta move their hat. Like, yeah, of course we're gonna be like size differences, but bro, like your brim is gonna fucking touch me every time. That's actually very funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, come on, bro. Like, what the fuck? What in the New York love story, like, bro? Like, yeah, shit, bro. Me, it's kind of like, my don't ever do that again. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> said, let me put, <laughs> guess, let me put my hat back. Come on, bro. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, it's like, funny, though. Now you got the logo in the back. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really seen how clean you fitted. Nah, bro. It's just too much shit, bro. Like, stop it. But a fitted, bro. You gotta go. Yeah, you does. Yeah, you like your New York like residence. Uh, your ah, uh, your New York, York residency, residency, bro, yeah. should be revoked. That's crazy though. It should be revoked. You should be banished for at, to New Jersey for at least like two months, like probation. Like, yo, bro, come on. Like, you can't make us look that crazy. But do what you do. It's a free country. That is true. It is a free country. It's just an opinion. It doesn't mean it's a reality. Don't be with that sensitive bullshit. Well, it's Caesar's reality. So cook him in the comments. Yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all niggas to suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna whip it out and let y'all really do it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, relax. Oh shit, that's too much. No, 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 no. Oh, so you would like it? Well, listen, bro. <laughs> you just can't let a stranger just like really. Well, can't, all right, that's the thing. All right, so you never let a bitch suck your dick on the first link? That's a stranger. But it's not really a total stranger, though. It is. Because you really texting shorty, though. Te- you don't know nobody through text. You don't, but you at least text it. You kind of, like, know the vibes. No. It's, yes, you it's do. a stranger, that, no. bro. No, 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 no. Okay, it is a stranger. All right, so you never met a bitch at a party and then fucked her? Not the same day, but after, which is fucking butt. <laughs> All right, I guess so, but it's still, nigga. I think. I don't know. I don't remember, bro. I'd be drunk. You probably well, I used to be drunk. Yeah, since I used to be a, a certified alcoholic. Yeah, That's kind of scary. Nah. I just used the black Damn, I just dropped the ash on the table. Fuck it. Nigga, but listen. It seemed like we in the trap. How was, your, uh, how was your weekend? It was interesting to say the most. Only because, like, over the weekend, it was cool, right? So, yesterday was Sunday, right? Yeah, yeah, yesterday was Sunday. So, 
my boy Jay Luke pulled up to the crib. You know what I'm saying? He was recording and shit like that. Bro. I'm kind of tired that I missed it, but it's okay. I was it's with cool. my other friends. Next se- next session, bro. Yeah, you know next. I have to be there for every session now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, it was just it was magical, bro. Like to say the least, my nigga. Like and that says a lot. Like it was just cool, bro. Cause like that time around was really me and him. We just kicked it. You know what I'm saying? Like and we we just focused on the craft and we like every conversation was about that. Oh, yeah. For the most part, it wasn't really about nothing else. You know what I'm saying? So we was really zoned in. It was locked in. It's like how they say I was in the lab. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like it was it was wavy, bro. Cause like once he was once he at first he was rapping, and I noticed that he was kind of like just getting comfortable with the song that he's recording and really like getting the jinx out and really trying to see like what is it that he wants to fucking do with the song and how he wants to take it. So we recorded and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? We we was drinking some some some. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, some, some. Damn, what's that shit that niggas be drinking all the time? That is the um. Fuck, bro. Yo, how can I forget this shit, bro? There's no way. No I'm not way. gonna lie to you, bro. Like, I don't know what you. Said. <laughs> like, I'm just spaced out. <laughs> it's cool, nigga. Smack. I'm talking about Joe recording. Oh, anyways. okay, okay. Um. Damn, bro. How the fuck I forgot the shit we. Was- Yo, I'm high. Wait, y'all was drinking something? Yeah, I forgot what the fuck we was drinking. Oh, so you want to drink with Joe, but not me? Motherfucker, I told you. This is crazy, then I t- And then, then I tell you, yo, we all drinking the next day. He was like, no, 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 no. I don't want to drink the next day. I want to drink the day. Because the next day I was busy, nigga. All right, and I didn't want to drink that day that you wanted to drink, nigga. The other day I was like, I bet cool, let's do it. Wait, y'all was drinking, uh, it was a whiskey? Yeah, it was whiskey. Is this shit, the, the, the honey shit. Oh, um, the honey jack? Jack. Like Jack Daniels? Yeah, we go. There we go. The honey jack Daniels. There we go. There we go. There we go. I was there drinking it with lemonade. Nah, we did it with Coke, with Coca Cola. Coca Cola? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> How did that taste? It was interesting. It was cool. I think I don't, I don't think it was the first time I had it like that. But oh, I'm not. That's that's a weird, interesting combination. Yeah, I was like, I right, bet cool. That's what we doing. That's what we doing. But anyways, nigga, we we chilling, we we sipping and shit, and we just vibing, bro. And like, now nah, I see like he really got in the zone, and he was like, I right, bet cool. I'm here, and nigga, he was recording his takes, and I'm over here, nigga. I'm doing my shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm recording this nigga, and once I got to the point where I was like, I right, bet cool, like. He was satisfied with what he did. He told me, like, what parts from what takes he wanted. You know what I'm saying? And we, like, laid out the song. Yeah. Then I got to mixing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was doing a little light mix because we was going to we was gonna record another shit. But I just wanted to hear how it would sound with some EQ, some fucking reverb, some fucking compression on it. For the niggas that don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, I'm just geeking out right now and just talking mad technical terms about the aspect of recording this shit. So and please, follow Smoke Session on YouTube, you know what I'm saying, for the greatest you know beats, saying, every beats every week. every week. So please you know forgive saying? me. You know what I'm saying? But I just... That's how my brain works. But yeah, we was just doing all that shit, you know what I'm saying? And really like just adding a little bit of sauce to the track, bro. And like, we vibing and we just listening. Nigga, I put some delay on that bitch and we just like, yo, like. He nah, looked at I me heard, like, listen, bro. He looked at me. He was like, yo, we got one. And I'm like. Bro, when I heard that yeah, song, bro, nigga. I was like, because I, I didn't really like the other one. But when I heard that shit, bro, I was like, yo, this one is it, bro. Like if niggas promote this shit, this is like, that, that, I feel like that song is something like on some next level from uh, Best of Me. And the crazy it just fits. The, I don't know why. And the, cra- the crazy thing about that track is it's the outro. So it's like, wow, what a perfect way to end yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Like Very, it's, like, amazing. Like, yeah. Yo. And the crazy thing about it is how you mentioned the other track, right? So, um, at the end of the at the end of the the session, he asks me after we finish recording the second track, right? So the second track, he pulls it up. I'm like, oh, cool. This shit's fire. Okay, cool. I'm fucking with the beat. It's a vibe. And then the chorus. I'm like, oh, okay. And then he he start he starts telling me like, yo, this is kind of like, he gives me an example of a song. I'm not gonna say the name of the song, but he gives me a name of the song. He's like, this is kind of what I'm trying to do. Like that's my version of it type shit. And I'm like, ooh, <clears throat> I see where you're going with it. I see where you could take it. You could really do that, especially based on the chorus and all that. So at the end, after we finish recording, and he asked me, he's like, yo, how you feel about it? I asked him, well, where are you trying to sequence this? And he tells me like in the middle, like towards like more towards like the end type shit. I'm like, okay, cool. I think like the beginning, either or, but in the middle somewhere. And I'm like, yo, it fits because he told me the track list, and I'm like, I right, bet cool. This shit sounds fire. Like the way that each song, because I already heard every song, so I'm like, okay, cool. I already see like I'm pl- as he's telling me the names. I'm playing the songs in my head and hearing how it would sound like transitioning from one to another. And I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, that shit sounds fire. Like it's very well thought out type shit, right? So fucking. What we noticed at the end when I, like when I heard it the next day, he was he asked me, he's like, yo, how do you really feel about it? And I'm like, yo, bro, like, and he told me, like, yo, I feel like on the first half, I'm kind of like 
Like, yeah, I'm spitting and shit, but I got to add, like, more energy to it so you, you can really feel it, especially, like, in the chorus part. Like, because the chorus is really, like, the highlight of the song because it's, like, that's what's, that's what's going to make everybody really, like, want to fucking keep on listening to this shit. And when, like, when, when it's performed live and when you hear it live, it's kind of like, oh, that's the shit that everybody going to chant because it's so catchy and so fire, right? So I can see it in your face. I, um... I don't know. I really didn't like the beat. No, either. no. So what we agreed upon was we had the um. Well, we gonna he, we. It's funny because when Jeremy, when I saw Jeremy today, he was on Facetime with him and he spoke briefly, and he told me he was like, "Yo, listen, I'm just fucking, we're just gonna redo it, and we're gonna add more energy and just really re, right, we right. we like we route it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really try to fucking paint that picture that niggas is trying to see. So it's cool, bro. Like honestly, at least for me, bro. Like this is always something that I wanted, bro. Like I, I always told this nigga, like yo, bro, pull up to the crib, let's record. I know you are. I'm like yo, bro, pull up to the crib, let's record, let's do this shit, bro. Because at the end of the day, it was on, it was me on some like yo. I seen all these videos of all these other people like that make it, like these engineers and like how, for example, mixed by Ali, somebody that I really look up to, right? Who is an engineer, and he fucking what you call this shit. He was he's he does all the uh, TDE shit so Kendrick Lamar SZA all that shit he's an uh, in house uh, engineer so he came up with these niggas right so I think about it like me and him like yo bro like nigga like yo pull up I'm not even charging you nigga like let's do this shit bro like nigga you my dog we've been rapping we gonna see we gonna do this shit nigga, you know what I'm saying like we already have pre notion of fucking tape together written somewhere that's gonna come out eventually one day because we send each other songs all the day all the time to fucking you know do some shit so it's like. It's kind of wavy, bro. Like that feeling of being like, I bet cool. He pulling up to the crib, we going to record, and like I'm not even in rapper mode or producer mode anymore. I turn into a straight engineer. Like I bet cool. How can I paint this nigga's vision? How can I make this shit bring to life by him telling me what he wants? Shit is dope. Yeah, you went from being a beat maker to actual producer. Yeah, nigga, I'm flash fucking, engineer. Uh, nigga, I'm everything, bro. I'm a podcast and engineer that produces and raps. That's fire. That's really fire. Nigga smack. Yo, I just relaxing. fucking went on a crazy ass rant, bro. Like, nah, but that song though, yo. Like, shit is, shit is promoted shit. correctly, that song could that blow him up. Hell yeah, Bullshit. bro. What? Like a motherfucker, man. All right, so yo, did you see the Trav the Trav interview? So I did see the Travis uh, the Travis Scott interview. What you, what you think about it? All right, so you know, watching the the interview, I was like, damn. All right, so it looks bad on him the way that he would respond or react to certain questions because Travis Scott is just a socially awkward person like if you're a real fan you knew that this nigga like since day one he always been awkward when it came to like you know that's why he never really does interview there's only a few interviews that he does like he don't really be out here doing interviews and shit okay he's just known as a performer that's it right so you know for the broader audience of people that don't know that about him I'm talking like I know that nigga personally, but mm -hmm. when you're just a fan, there's certain things you pay his attention manager. to. Yeah. Wait, you said I'm his manager? Yeah. Type shit. So, it definitely looks bad because from a broader, like, audience, you can look at that and be like, damn, like, like, I feel you, but I don't know. It sounds like you're not feeling it, if, the, if that makes any sense. Okay. So like you're saying, like you understand what he's saying, but it, you don't feel like if he's like yeah, like that. like like it doesn't it doesn't feel like if it was honest authentic. for the average viewer, authentic, authentic, yeah, yeah. But you could tell that he was actually worried. Like me, I could tell that he was actually like, damn, this shit is like, look, you fucking with me and shit. I'm like, yeah. So shout out to Charlamagne. That was a good interview. Um, uh, honestly, bro, he. I love the fact that he wasn't so worried about putting blame into anybody rather than, yo, let's find a solution for this. This is a tragedy. Let's find a solution to this. Like, he wasn't really on some, <coughs> like, on some, like, oh, this is Live Nation's fault or whoever the fuck or blah, blah. He was dead ass on some, like, yo, bro, like, there's dead ass ways that we could prevent this. Let's try to do our best and come up with a solution rather than trying to find the blame. Right. And I feel like that's the... That was the good mentality to have, bro. Because everybody's trying to find the blame, and they're trying to blame Travis Scott. And, you know, in the interview, he said, uh, I think his manager or some shit like that, said that he wanted to do this by himself. Like, he didn't want to... He actually wanted to get that message out to his fans, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> right. Travis Scott really do care about his fans. Right. And in the interview, he did, I said that, yo, bro, like, every single show, which is true, every single show, I did, I stopped the show, and I make sure that everything no, yeah, is valid. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. And he brought up a good fact that... Well, Charlamagne brought up a good fact that... Nobody is going to know his shoes because they're not sitting in front of 50,000 people looking down mad lights 
and really seeing what you could see. Right. Our eyes can only see 2020. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So it's like he was saying how like sometimes he would just see lights and he wouldn't think that anything of it because it's a show. Like I said, there's lights everywhere, phone lights, whatever it is, just lights. So the nigga, he said it, but he stopped the show mad times, bro. He did what he could have done, bro. Right, right. And I think <coughs> I saw the interview too, but I stopped about like <coughs> 27, 30 minutes in. Okay. How long was it? Like an hour, right? Yeah, it was like an hour. <coughs> I stopped like halfway and only because I think for me, that interview, I don't really think he should have done it just because. Definitely should have not done it. Just because people don't understand him. He's like, yo, listen, bro, like, what do you really want me to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, like, I can only do but so much. That's one. Two, I understand, like, the lyrics and all the shit like that people try to use against him. But here's the thing. Niggas in rap, everybody in rap always amplifies things just to make it sound better. Okay. No matter what bar it is, no matter what it is. People will say shit even if it's not realistically true or if they wouldn't want that to happen, but they just say it just because they know if they if I say this bar, it's like, whoa. Like, the game did that shit on Russ' album, right? He basically says some shit where um, he's the reason why Demi Lovato relapsed or some shit like that. Basically saying, like, he's selling her dope. You should never say that. Yeah, that's But the up. fact that he said that, it's kind of like, oh, shit, that's, whoa, that was hard, bro. Like, yo, nigga, you bugging. You know what I'm saying? So, like, everybody does that shit when it comes to lyrics, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you can't use lyrics against people because people use it to enhance the performance. Yeah. To make the song better. So, with that being said, I think he shouldn't really even have to, like, really be explaining himself anymore. And the reason, like, he went about it that way was like, hey, this is an issue. Let's see how we can resolve it. It's because I have two things about it. One, if he, if I was in his shoes and niggas is blaming me, like, yo, it was Travis, it was Travis, it was Travis, it was Travis. Everybody's like, oh, him, 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 him. Hey, listen, brother, I'm only here to put on a show. The niggas responsible is Live Nation because I come with them. Mind you, excuse me, right now in school, guess what the fuck I'm learning about? All this shit. Yeah. Right? The timing. Exactly. The motherfucking timing, bro. I, as an artist, I tell you how many tickets I'm selling. Okay. How many people are roughly going to be are gonna be there, blah, blah, blah. You tell me what your a staff, uh, what your venue is, uh, the capacity is, how much staff can you have, all that extra shit. So if you tell me that your venue has a certain capacity, I'm going to tell you how many people are coming. So let's say if the venue was 50,000 and I have 50,000 people, the venue is responsible on how the fuck they're going to get everything situated where yeah. it runs smoothly. That's not the artist's job. That's what the artist is there to perform. Legit. I mean, he did say that though in a part of the interview. He was like, yo, like... You know, like, he he said that. He was like, <clears throat> I'm just here to perform. Like, you know, at the end of the day, like, oh, because he was explaining that they didn't tell him to start the show after Drake had came out. Right. So, let's say if Travis didn't know what was going on after the show, right, and they tell him, yo, stop the show after the guest comes out, because that's, that's, allegedly that's what he said, that's, that's all they told him. And that low key means that that's the production's fault, not Travis Scott. Right. Because if they know that there's something going on and they have to stop the show after the guest, because the show was supposed to go on for another hour right. and it didn't. Right. That means that the production team knows something that Travis doesn't know. Well, and that's that's another thing, right? Um, a lot of the reason why this this falls on the planners and the event holders is because, hey, listen, bro. Motherfucker, you should know your area. Well, you can't control human. Uh, no, you can't control humans, but listen to what I'm saying. Human behavior. Right, but listen to what I'm saying. You should know the area that you're renting out. If you know the area that you are renting out, you should know how you should be able to staff this on where it runs as smooth as possible. That's what I, that's what I mean. So let's say allegedly. Hold up, hold up, yeah, hold yeah. up. Because... If Tra this is the thing, if Trav goes and says how he and says how he really feels, he's gonna say, "Listen, it's, it's Live Nation fault. These niggas got to do what the fuck they got to do." But here's here's the problem: 
Live Nation owns a lot of these motherfucking venues. Almost all of them. So now if you start beef, bro, <clears throat> you know what's so crazy about listen, listen, listen to how crazy the timing is, bro. My professor, right? This nigga's girlfriend, she works in like in the audio field as well, too. And guess who she had a meeting with recently at her event place? Travis? Live Nation. Oh, Live Nation. Why? Because they want to use that fucking uh venue for for fucking concerts and shit like that now. Look at that. Look look, look how crazy that shit is, bro. Look at look at the timing. Bro, it's crazy because it's like Live Nation is. But if he says that he goes on and he get, he gets into beef with these niggas, he's not gonna get shows. Then how you gonna get shows? How you gonna and get? He's booked? not gonna be the best performer ever. Come on, man. And it's gonna be the biggest fall up in hip hop. That will be crazy. I don't know, bro. Do you, you, you do you think he can recover from this? Hell yeah. And how how what do you think will be the time frame and how does he recover from this? I I think in a year we're all gonna forget about this. Um, he's gonna drop an album and it's gonna be the hottest album that he has ever dropped simply because of what happened. I'm not gonna lie, it sounds kind of crazy, but I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it now. I see the documentary. Which one? So this is what's gonna happen, right? Wait, you watch the documentary? No, no, or? listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna predict the future. All you niggas watching right now. What day is it? It is Monday, December 13th, 10, 17 p.m. I'm making this prediction. Sometime in the future, when all this shit boils down, I say like about a year, year and a half, right? To where like, he's going to have to like stay incognito. He's going to drop the album. While dropping that album, he's probably going to add like, or switch around, depending with all this shit that's going on, make a different album. Attack shit a certain different way. A documentary is going to happen about how the album was Netflix already, listen, mad money. about how the, all, the album was already made and then how this tragedy happened and it made him and scoped him into like this new different artist or whatever the fuck and now he's doing music a different way and this, that, and the third. I'm I don't think he's going right to change now. the way that he does no, music. No, not, not changing the way he does he does music. I'm saying like the album that he was supposed to release. You think he's going to change it? He might. I don't think so. Well, we don't know. I'm just saying like if this documentary, if this happens the way that I'm that I'm saying it, bro, I'm calling it. I'm just saying I you can, know why see, I don't I can so? see the pitch. I can see the pitch. You know why I don't think so? Because he did, I said it in the interview. He was like, yo, like, I'm still not like, it's raging music. Like, I'm gonna still make this shit. You feel what I'm saying? No, I know. I'm just saying though. Watch the documentary happen. That's all I'm saying. I feel you. I really do think like this shit's gonna happen. It would be funny though. Yo, bro, come on, my nigga. Like, it would be man funny. Uh, oh, just, this nigga got it. We talk about this nigga right now. Yeah, we have to talk about this. A landmark. Yo, yo. Yeah. wait, tell me. Yo, so, all right, we got to get into it, man. This, this is some crazy Wait, shit. Wait, let's watch it again. No, no, we are going to watch it again. Okay. I'm just going to announce the topic. Right. So, <laughs> we have to talk about that right now. Yo, he's bugging. There's this guy. I don't know if you guys know. His name is Charleston White. First of all, this 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 man is crazy, to say the least. Um, He... He he has a video on the internet that I seen that he says like one of his goals every day is to wake up and send niggas to jail. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Yo, like he he be ready to call the police on niggas, bro. Like yo, he's yo, he's a tweak. That's right? fucked up. He's I'm a, a smack, bro. Yo, I'm OD smack, but he's a tweak, bro. Anyway, so niggas is on Clubhouse and shit like that, right? And Shout out to Clubhouse. Yeah, fuck fuck Clubhouse. I never tried it, but fuck it. I was on it. It was on it when the shit was popping. It was yeah. cool, but it was like <sighs> You don't like it? It was cool, but it wasn't like eh. niggas nigga, we were just all talking on the phone. Like nigga, we could just link up and talk in person. What the fuck? I mean coonery shit. You can't Anyways. have mad people on that shit? Yeah, you could. Mad How you gonna fit mad people in one room? My nigga, live stream. <laughs> I mean it is Zoom. Zoom, Zoom call. You Zoom know what call. I'm Anyways, yo, so this nigga Charleston is he just he went crazy. I'ma just play the clip and then we're gonna discuss it, bro. Thousand dollar landmark. You rape yeah. white woman. You goddamn right. We grew up right, raping look, white hoes, nigga. Running trains on them white bitches. Let's yeah, look, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We grew up raping white bitches in the south, nigga. And they my Facebook friends right now today. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on.
<laughs> yeah, and they my Facebook friend right now today, nigga. This Yo, Zeke, Zeke, yeah, them same white okay, bitches exactly my right, Facebook bro. friend. Yo, Charles, hey, hold up, Charles, hold up, hold up, hold up. 50 hold up. Shades of Grey. Hold up, look, yeah, Charles, they start writing movies about it. Now out of ten thousand dollars, last month. He's bugging. <sighs> you think he's gonna go to jail? Why can I not hear that? Ha 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 ha! nigga moment caught on camera. That's how I feel about this nigga, bro. That shit was mad low though. I can fix all your problems, bro. I am he. I am he who knows it all. This (laughs) nigga Charleston. (coughs) How do you feel, bro? Bro, he's wildin', bro. He's basically like openly admitting to raping white women. That nigga needs to go to jail. I don't give a fuck what color you are. He, Look at that mal, that mal, bro. bro like, he's yo, like this legit nigga, yo, bro. admitted this shit. Yo, bro. Nigga said we're friends on Facebook till this day. Yo, somebody huh? arrest Yo, somebody arrest this nigga right now and get this nigga off the streets. He's bugging. Charleston, the same way you be calling the police on niggas, I'm calling the police on you. Somebody lock this nigga up. Look how karma works. Yo, this, yo, yo, bro, yo, bro, yo, bro, yo, bro, yo, bro, yo, bro. And like, that's the crazy shit. He's really saying this shit like he proud of it. Like, yeah, dog, we was, we was training these bitches. We was raping white, this nigga said, I, I ain't say this, he said this. He said they was raping white women in the South and now they're Facebook friends. He's bugging. Huh? He's bugging. Yo, I'm not going to lie, bro. I was bugging. I would say God bless you, but you don't even deserve that, my boy. This nigga got to go to jail, bro. He's legit bugging. Yo, nah, let me see if I find a video of this nigga saying he wants to send niggas to jail. <laughs> Did you see that video? Yo, he be bu- yo, he be bugging, yo, bro. What's up with this have thing? you ever seen his DJ Vlad interviews? Nah. Yo, you have to watch it. He be bugging, bro. What? I mean, it sounds astonishing. Yo, bro, look. Um, damn, bro. Well, fuck. Let me see if I find it on Twitter. Ah, power the edit button. Suck that dick. Yeah. <clears throat> now nah, I'm high as hell though. Oh dear, that shit got 34, 36 THC. Huh? Oh, my son Jay hit me up. Shock jocks, killers, Well, If I feel the need to speak on something, it ain't a man alive that can muzzle this mouth. Hey, fuck a muzzle I'm willing, I'm willing to when die, you talking, kill, and go to jail by what I speak on. Let's see no, what you're right. Yeah, no, you're you, man, you, you lying to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's why I talk hold so on, boldly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up, hold up. No, that's why I talk so boldly. Hold up, hold up. That ain't what we're here for. Shit, you know? man, man, Oregon. I'm not, because I'm not doing no motherfucking talking. No, man, no, man, no, man, no, man, listen, nigga, I ain't got to justify what I said. I ain't got to justify my words. I ain't going to tell you a motherfucking thing. I ain't got to justify my words. Check this out. I ain't got to justify my words. Check this out. I ain't got to justify my words to nobody, my nigga. I done said what I done said. So whatever consequences that come with what I done said, I'm willing to accept what we mean. I'm going to accept whatever consequences. We mean, bro. This is my platform. And, and, and I'm we, quiet. We come, I come in love. Talk, but I didn't I interrupt it. nobody, and I'm going to finish. But I come in love. We all have opinions. But listen, but listen, but listen yeah. but we're, here, but we're here talking about what I think. Mm-hmm. Let me do a tweet. Hold up. Oh, right here. 
It's my dream to put a nigga in jail. <laughs> Some niggas wake up and on Friday night they go into the club to knock a nigga out. Ooh. They pride themselves and bro, what's wrong with that man, bro? Nigga. Ooh. It's some niggas wake up on Saturday, Ooh. get dressed, they plan on fucking plenty holes. Oh yeah. I wanna put niggas in jail. Oh. I wanna put the niggas in jail. Yo, this nigga is such a fucking coon, bro. <laughs> Yo. This nigga is so fucking cool, bro. Like, I think I think Jake on cop. Nigga said call nigga called him Jake. Jay. You called him Jake. Jay, that's his name, right? Yeah, it's Jay, but you called him Jay? Jake. Let's see what let's see what he wants. Yo, you gotta introduce the flat earth theory. Come on, bro. Let's get spooky on these hoes. Let's get high and stay fly. I'm with it. Yo, you know what I noticed? You know that we can actually use the TV to look shit up? Bro, I, you know what's crazy? I was going to tell you that, that we should like get like a 32 inch and just put it on the wall. Okay. I think, I think you could put it on this wall. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how that works, but nigga, we could just put it there, bro. Yeah. And we could get like, nigga, we could do bear bricks and just put them like, and then we could get like a shelf, little shelf, mm -hmm. and then put like the apes and shit behind the TV. We should put LED lights. Damn, but how does that look though? Like on camera though. It's gonna look fire. All right, and then I was gonna put my shooting range thing here. Go crazy. Yeah. All right, bet. Calm decoration. It's not bad. I'm gonna, put a, I'm gonna put a nude of myself here. Okay. But don't, like back, back. No, like my back though. Don't we'll do be that. Let's go show my butt. Don't do that. Nah, that's not valid? Nah. Mari, you not fucking with it? But legit, right? You know what I'm saying? I think when I turn 25, I'm going to do a 25 and sexy shoot for my birthday. <laughs> bro, what's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> that shit don't sound fire, bro. A 25 and sexy? Or should I wait till I'm 35? Like, it's just me and, like, mad silkware. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. When I do get older, like... I think that's fine. Let me know older, in the comment sections if you're fucking with it. Marty has this pajama. Damn, you see how much my shit peeling right now, yeah, bro? bro. Marty has this pajama that is silk, and every time I touch it, it feels good. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that it sits right on the skin, so when I go older, like, I just want to have, like, a... Silk robe. Yeah. Type shit. No, yeah. Not, not a robe. Like silk, like, like PJ set. Yeah, fire, fire. So fire yeah, listen, bro, like I definitely, listen, when I turn 25, I'm some listen, Jordan. two years, no, listen, listen, I'm gonna listen, I'm come back to this clip. Fuck. In two years, I turn 25. In two years? Well, not really, because next month is my birthday, but a year and a half, I guess. Whatever, doesn't matter. Um, In a year, basically, right? I'm gonna do a 25 and sexy shoot. <laughs> and I'm gonna just do a mad silk shit. Like, I'm gonna have a silk, silky, like, yeah. PJ set, just... Everything silk. That's some, that's some bullshit. I'm gonna just make it like an R and B theme. It's gonna be funny. I'm gonna drip chocolate on myself. <laughs> What's wrong with you, bro? Follow haters. Follow haters. Get it? Oh. Follow haters. Yo, come on, man. I'm like it's it's like I'm always like I like it's it's like I'm always clocked in, no matter the language, bro. Like it's it's really different out here. My like y'all niggas ain't really fucking with me, bro. No funny shit, bro. Like. Come on, man. Huh? Definitely. Oh, we came back. Yo, so do you believe in flat earth? All right, so listen, bro. Yeah. I do believe that the earth is <laughs> a globe sphere, a fucking sphere. <laughs> it's a something. It's got to be something. <laughs> a circle, a circular shape, Okay. oval. Something, right? <laughs> Something. <laughs> it's probably a nipple. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Makes a lot of sense. Not going to lie, bro. If you think about it, bro. That's what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what's the equator? The middle. It's in the middle, right? Yeah. And what's at the middle of the nipple? Uh, 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 the, the nipple. <laughs> and what happens when you suck that nipple? It erupts. It erupts. Yes. <laughs> no, 
Am I fucking lying though, nah, bro? It, rip, it erupts. Yo, the earth is a nipple. You know what's crazy? It's the like, earth is a nipple. Yo, you just, yo, I'm not gonna lie. You just figured some shit out. Yeah. Like you just like broke Pandora's box. Like you just did some the simulation shit. Simulation is bugging. Hold right on, now, let me put so. my mask on. This nigga here. You just are bugging right now. Me personally, bro. So I had a friend the other day, right? He he came over and he was explaining the whole, the whole like flat Earth theory, right? Right. And bro, it was just the way that he was explaining it, bro. Like that shit made sense. It made more sense than what we know. What was he saying? So the the part where it got me fucked up was right. Where at, bro? So you see how water, it's always flat. Right. Unless you know there's weather, whatever the fuck, right? Why did? <laughs> but it's always. <laughs> But it's always flat. Uh, <laughs> like it's always flat. Right. Right? <coughs> in the in the in, in the, on the earth, you're saying. In whatever shape of space that you put water in, it's always gonna be that shape. Right. So let's say, you know, in this water in this water cup, the water is here. Right. Let's say I pour this like inside here, it's gonna be this shape. Right. So the the the, the thing is. How the fuck is the water not dripping outside of Earth or elevating if water takes whatever shape it is? Because right. that means that it has to be on something horizontal for water to not go over like the edge or all the water drips down to Antarctica. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. I don't really know what you're saying, but I'm gonna try to ask. Yeah. So you're saying like, if the shit, the earth is like this, right? Uh -huh. The shape that the water should be should be like this. Yeah. But it looks flat. Nah. What the fuck are you talking about? All right. So let's. I so say you see you see how I pour water in here and it's it's flat. Okay. A globe. Right. If you put water on top of a globe, the water just gonna drip down and gonna go over. It's just gonna drip down. Okay, to the bottom. But why does it stay in the globe? Oh, so you're saying why doesn't the water go down, but it stays exactly. like this? Exactly. Because remember, you cannot bend water at all. Unless you're a water bender. Yes. So how the fuck is, what gives Earth the power to bend water to keep it in orbit with the rock moving? What if at, ah, so you see how you can't go to Antarctica, right? Like at all, it's actually a treaty that said that every single what's, country. What's the, what's the treaty called? The Antarctica Treaty right. of. Hold what, on, yo, listen. What if in Antarctica the reason that we can't go there is because they have two water benders. Just. Bugging. Oh, okay. So then, going it, crazy. It was the Antarctic Treaty, um, of December nineteen fifty nine. Right, and what was the treaty about? He just closed his phone. Like he don't so, <laughs> nah, 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 I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you right now. My boy. My guy. Oh, yeah. RIP, man. All right. So, the primary purpose of the Antarctic Treaty is to ensure in the interest of all mankind. Right. And Antarctica shall continue forever to be exclusively for peaceful purposes and shall not become the scene or object of international discord. Right. Hmm. So what do they mean by peaceful? Like, can I go over there and like do a concert? That's the thing. You can't even go there. So then why say that whole peaceful part? Because that's what you want you to believe. Honestly, bro, I don't know. Like, this is the thing, right? What if that's the exit to the world? It could be. That is a theory. A lot of people say that it's like a portal or some shit like that. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, to me, it's kind of it's kind of weird because like I think about it like this, right? We're on a fucking globe. And we're about to sound like high niggas, but it's cool because you, you niggas don't think, oh shit, you niggas don't think like us, right? I just bugged out. You niggas don't think like us, right? So it's some different shit. Anyways, the globe, right? Technically speaking, I don't like how when they put the maps, right? They put, for example, South Africa all the way at the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. Antarctica all the way at the bottom. And they put... Fucking North America here, and then they divide it by a block. Don't put it like that because it doesn't make any sense. Even though that's what it looks like from up top, allegedly, it doesn't really make any sense. Well, allegedly, we don't even have a picture of how Earth actually looks like. 
Right, but here's like if you look it up in every other country, like uh, whatever search engine they have, uh, you look up a, a picture of Earth. They do not look alike. Well, it's based Either on the, sa- but it's based on the satellites that 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 country is using. I so think. why do they all look different if we're satelliting the same thing? I don't know, bro. Anyways, exactly. But land, no matter where you go, is always straight, flat. It's flat, allegedly, right? For example, if you because te- technically speaking, the way that the Earth is built, if you was in the lower section, mm-hmm. your land shouldn't be like this. It should be like this depending on how it's viewed on the map. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So this is the thing. What the fuck if what the fuck is protecting us and keeping us in the center where you can't even exit the fucking the sides, right? They say that it's fucking gravity, that it's the fucking atmosphere, what whatever the fuck, blah, blah, blah. So my whole thing is if you was to go to the moon, right? Allegedly, if you jump, you're going in space. There's nothing keeping you there. You're just on top of the rock. Compared to Earth, you're inside of the rock. Does that make sense? Yes. Well, allegedly it's because um, it doesn't have atmospheres atmospheres than we do. Right. But what I'm saying is, regardless, even if that's the case, right, which, okay, cool, that kind of makes sense. At the end of the day, the people at the bottom, they should be walking like this. It shouldn't be walking straight. You know what I'm saying? It should be yes, walking. Yes, bro. That's why the, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. any fucking sense, bro. It doesn't bro. make any sense. These niggas really be tweaking, bro. At the end of the day, bro, first of all, these niggas did not go to the fucking moon. They didn't go to the moon. If we would have went to the moon. Why we not there? Niggas would have had a hotel. Exactly. I just bugged out again. Hold up. I got to take this shit off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm tweaking. He's just tweaking. OD. I'm high, but listen, bro. That's a clip, bro. We're going to add that to the... um. We're going to do a, a a segment of you hitting the mic and me hitting the mic. <laughs> <laughs> a compilation. A compilation. Word, bro. Honestly, bro, yeah, that shit don't make any fucking sense to me, bro. Like, it just, it's, 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 it's some real bullshit, bro. But at the end of the day, if you start questioning this show or if you start talking about it a certain way, right, they look at you like, yo, bro, oh, it's it's science. Oh, it's it's this. It's, it's. Nigga, if I told you 7,000 years ago that this is a phone, that's the word that I gave it. This is the definition that I gave it. You will never question it. Yeah. Just because I said that this is it. And I made it. I created it. This is what I want it to be. That's with anything that people do in life. That's with religion. That's with technology. That's with legit everything. So what I'm saying is just because somebody says that this is what it is, that doesn't mean that that's true. That's just what they logically made sense of Depending on depending on the fucking scenario that they were in, does that make sense? Yeah, like that's the conclusion that they came to, but that conclusion could be wrong because we could look at things two different ways. Well, you know what's crazy too about gravity? Even to this day, gravity is a theory. It's still called the gravity theory. Like it's not the real deal. I mean, my whole my whole thing is really about like we we are we're a ball. In the middle of nothing. That just floats. It doesn't make any sense. You cannot feed me that much bullshit. How the fuck, bro, how do you come to this conclusion, bro? Right? Like, it it, it just doesn't make any sense to me, bro. Who figured this out? Who thinks that this is really true, bro? It just doesn't make any sense to me, bro. Because at the end of the day, you really don't know. Well, I feel like, I feel like there's a way to know, but we really don't know. Like, bro, think about it. We're re- like, yo, there's there's a bigger picture to this that we're not seeing, that nobody is seeing. Definitely has to be, cause, bro, there's no way. But like, it's like, okay, right? We live in our solar system or whatever the fuck. But where's the other like species and shit? And 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 people say, oh, and why haven't they made contact directly? And people say, oh, depending on it was this is one thing that I saw. It was, Basically saying how the way that light travels through through the universe at the speed that it travels and the way that certain planets move away from each other, right, at a certain at a certain rate, by the time any message or any light from a particular pl- a planet reaches our planet, by the time we get that message, that planet will be somewhere else in the universe. 
because it drifted away, right? Allegedly. That's just a theory. We don't know. We're just assuming. Just because it doesn't have the word theory on it and it became an actual thing, that's just because we all concluded, a large community concluded on, okay, cool, this is what makes the most sense. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that it's right. They just all agreed upon it, and since they have these certificates and these degrees, now this becomes reality. And then in fact, that's not that's not how it is. But at the end of the day, you kind of need shit like that because you kind of got to hear you got you got to give us human creatures some sort of like tangible understanding of certain things. You just can't question everything because then there will be complete chaos, which is the fucking bullshit part about it, right? But if we really think about it, like nobody's really right. It's all an assumption, bro. Of what the fuck we think Everybody it is. Everybody just speaks from speculation. That's all it is, bro. Like, yeah, a lot of things make sense, but then when you start questioning the things that really you could cut, that you could dead ass question because you just don't really know, it's like, fam, like how the fuck you know that we can't go to fucking um to another planet, to another uh to a uh, to a galaxy. You don't know, you're just assuming. We could do it. I mean, we I could think build it, the gear. it has to do with certain components. Of course, it, it does with a lot of certain components and shit like that, but what I'm saying is like there's just so much shit that we just don't know. It's not. It's not. Bro, it's not that it's not possible. It's, it's just that we just don't know. We're not aware of it. What What's crazy to me is we don't know what we're in, bro. Yeah, but like, what the crazy thing to me is that NASA was made to explore the ocean, right? They stopped doing it, and they started doing space, right? Bro, like, what the fuck, like? All these astronauts that be going like to the SSI, ISS, I think it is, or SSI, some shit like that. Is the the fucking satellite of the United States? I had made a syllable song, bro. Like they have live streams. Like if you look this up, they have live stream of people. Right. Live streaming this shit. Watch. The live streams be having a video of people live streaming. Yeah, yeah. Watch this. That sounds fire, bro. The live stream has a live stream. Of people live streaming the live stream. I'll show you one. By the haters, you feel me? Look, bro. Allegedly. How can they have the service to live stream the outside of space, but I can't use my phone on the plane without using the Wi-Fi on the plane? Well... Here's the crazy part about this shit. How does that make sense, bro? It doesn't make any sense. Apollo haters. Bro, this shit look... Bro, yo, bro. Yo, I'm gonna put this shit on the fucking... On the, on the shit so y'all niggas can see it. It's 24-7. Bro, that shit just doesn't make any sense to me, bro. You can't tell... Bro, you cannot tell me, bro, that we are the only motherfucking... Out of, out of the whole galaxy, right? We the only niggas with some light. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we the only niggas with some people on that bitch? Like, huh? Why? You know, fucking way, bro. But why? I don't know. So, what, 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 what other source of, like, creatures are there in different galaxies? Because people, people do say that there is different galaxies, right? So, if there's life in this galaxy, we could assume... If we're using assumptions, right? Bro, why are we the only ones in the solar system with life? No, no, no. But, right. But what I'm saying is... You know how lonely that is? OD lonely. We're fucking miserable. That explains why we're so fucking miserable. Yeah, because <laughs> we're fucking like, damn, we we're need the, some more friends. <clears throat> yeah, we're the only niggas here, bro. We need some planetar- Allegedly. planetary friends. Bro. Allegedly. Right. But here's my thing. <laughs> like, yo, bro, like... They, like... Bro, this looks like a Hollywood listen, like right? scene. So listen, 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 listen. So if we have life in this galaxy... And we could assume since there's multiple millions of other galaxies that there should be other source of life on those galaxies. What the fuck do they look like? I mean, I guess it depends on the environment that they're in. Right, it depends on the environment that they're in. But do you think that maybe there's different versions of you in that place? Of me specifically? Yeah. I don't know. That's a very hard question to answer. What if we all live in a quantum realm but we just don't know? We most likely do. And this is the version of the quantum realm. Look, model. like, look, like, why does it look like that? Why is that looking like that? Why is it changing like that? What's this white shit? That's what I'm saying. Like, it, it, it's it's light, but why is it changing like that? 
It seems like if there's a light coming from above. You know what this should look like? This should look like like somebody. Oh, it just switched to a different light. This should look like somebody. It just switched the angle. Yeah, the there's angle. something that I want us to know. <laughs> Od, this should look like that light that's just there, bro. That yeah. should look like somebody just like open some shit, like yeah, bro. Like trying to look inside, like yo, <laughs> that nigga still alive, bro. Like look, they just switched it, bro. That shit is crazy. Do you think man and woman could be friends? Platonic friendships. The chances are low, but it is possible. Okay. Explain. I think. Okay. I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Is it fucked up to be like, ah, we could be friends. I will fuck, but we friends. Can you, can you get, is it fucked up to view somebody like that? That's the thing. I don't think so. Cause I feel like, I feel like we, like us human beings, like. We always have a fantasy that we don't want to like think about. I mean, but does it, that make sense? I mean, yeah, but for me, it's not necessarily like a fantasy. To me, it's more like, like yeah, I would fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. are, like you're an attractive person. Like yes, I would fuck. But also, oh, you would fuck me, bro. No. Oh, okay. What the fuck wrong with you? It's just a question, bro. No, bro. Don't ask me no shit like that. <laughs> Nigga just you think a smog and turn gay, bro. But <laughs> I don't the think fuck? I don't think it's fucked up, bro. Cause it's like when you think about it, right? When I mean I don't know about you, but when I used to like I, I used to that as have like platonic friendships with girls, right. and it wouldn't be on some like fucking show or nothing. Like it would just be straight friendships. So that's why I think it could happen. But that's just my experience. Right. I think. I think. But at least for me, like what. I think those are for me. Is that's just the initial thought? It's more it, like it's like at first when we like we're becoming friends. It's kind of like oh, like I would fuck, but because mm. let's say right, let's say hold on, hold on. I, like yeah, I would yeah. fuck, but it's like you know we cool, whatever the fuck. And then as time progresses, it's kind of like eh, this is this my this my son right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, I think the, if you pass at the end of the day, like I'm pretty sure if your friend like <laughs> she just walks in butt ass naked, like something's gonna happen. Uh, I really depends. I, I think it depends. Well, it does depend, but I feel like right. I feel like in this scenario where, you know, y'all both single, let's say one day y'all both just chilling, niggas just get horny and niggas just have sex. I'm not, I'm not, move, I'm not saying that's not possible. Yeah, it's yeah. very possible. I'm just saying though, like, I think it depends. Because then again, what is a platonic relationship? We don't know. I think it's on, <laughs> what the fuck? Nigga, platonic <laughs> means you're not fucking. Anyways. We don't know nothing. Right, right I guess. It's all an assumption, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> <It's thinking stupid. laughs> niggas looking for speculation. I'm crying, but um, I think, I think, it depends on y'all friendship. Like, how do y'all view that friendship? Like, all right, if we fuck, is this shit gonna damage it, or what's really gonna happen? Because, like, like I'm gonna speak from experience. Well, it depends on. No, no, no. I'm gonna speak. I'm gonna speak from experience, right? This is this is a friend I had, right? And I won't say the level of how close we are or close we weren't. I'm gonna just say a friend. Yeah, know? yeah. Because I don't want to be too specific for certain reasons. Um. I don't know. I don't like how she chuckled. <laughs> yeah, she always does that. I don't like how she chuckled. She always does that. <laughs> she always does that. <laughs> that, that, that That's crazy, like, bro. Know? That's crazy. We caught that on camera. Cuatro K, nigga, like el alfa, nigga. El alfa. <laughs> nah, but um, so we yeah, had went out like we was. We always like go out and have fun, just like go to different like you know like kind of like dates, but not really. You know what I'm saying? Like friend dates. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Cool. We was just kicking it and. We Friend to, dates. Yeah, we went to we you went hold to hold hands and shit. No, we oh. went to New Rock one time, bro. Right, and nigga, we went to go play. We went to go bow or some shit like that. Wow, what a friend date! Right, it, we was just chilling, bro. We was just you know catching up. It was it was a minute. So you didn't have a fit on that day? No, I had a fit. Uh huh. Not, not like not like a fit. fit yeah, Kelowna. I, I don't remember, bro. You probably did. But I was wearing. She Kelowna. was bad, huh? She was bad. Yeah, she's cute, bro. Yeah. But um, anyway, so. We go, we have fun, we have a ball, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just kicking in, talking shit. Cool. We go back home. And. <laughs> Yo, it's hilarious, bro, right? So, I, um, I start, or we, we she she on my bed, whatever the fuck, like, nothing. Like, it's regular shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Friend for mad long, bro. Like, nigga, me and her, me, 
I, I fuck it, I'll, I'll disclose some information. Like me and Shorty Miles is cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I know family. Like, nigga, like we cool. Like, it's really friend. Like, okay. this is friend. Like, she knows. Like, my mom. Everybody mom's, touch her. Yeah, bro. Like, nigga, it's like, it's really friendship shit, bro. Right? Cool. So, the only people that I only had like that was just cousins. Right. So, I, mean, I never really had. Well, I lie. My cousin is like that. I mean, me and my cousin is cool as hell. But oh wait, never mind. I'm never gonna ask it. But what were you gonna ask? I'm not gonna say. Nah, say. I'll, I'll tell you after the pod. Okay. Listen, but um, cause I don't want to get sidetracked. But oh yeah, 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 yeah. So it's that type of level, right? And she laying down, she's chilling, right? And then I get on my laptop and I put, I put fucking. I was watching straight out of Compton at the time. I had the DVD, nigga. That's how much I love the movie. I bought the DVD, still have it. And I put it on my old Mac and my laptop. We just there, we watching, we getting like, motherfucker. Like I'm not thinking nothing, nothing, right? Yeah. And out of the nowhere, you just felt the vibe completely change, bro. Like, and I was like, whoa. Whoa. And I'm like, wait, do I? It, she flipped the switch. No, she ain't. But this is the thing. It's kind of weird, like, bro. Like, she ain't do nothing. She ain't move a muscle. She ain't do shit, bro. But, like, you just felt the vibe completely change in the room. I can't explain it. Because for me, like, the where, like, I was so aware of the situation that. I, I noticed that she noticed that the vibe changed. And it's like kind of like, whoa, like we was both like, whoa, is this really happening? I bet cool, fuck it. Like we just knew type of shit. And long story short, nigga, we just got we got to kicking it and then somehow some way my hand landed on the titty. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck it. Ah. Whoa, it just landed, you know? But the vibe like the was there, but the vibe was there. Right? So she was I, I knew the vibes, right? Cool. So like you know wouldn't. what's crazy about being a man, right? That we always have to make the first move, but you that has got to be careful because you don't want to be wrong, yo. Because that could like make it so your, your fucking yo, weird, bro. Yo, bro, your timing has to be on. Like you have, it's crazy, bro. Because you really have to be on timing. Like you have to understand, like, ah, right, yo, you gotta shoot your shot, right. but be careful, <laughs> well, especially when, especially when it's like that first like that like, first link, yeah, that first link or those first like few times that you're really kicking it with shorty, you know what I'm saying? Like first like two three times, kind of because you you still really getting used to each other type shit. And it's like once you've been with each other for a long time, it's kind of like bitch, give me a kiss, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's different, like you know what I'm saying? Like but when you first like that, it's kinda, yeah, it's weird, it's weird, yeah, it's, it's weird. OD it's weird, like bro. you gotta let us go through bases. Is Yo, shit. bro, this it's is weird. crazy, bro. It's hilarious. It's bro. weird, but it's, it's fun, fun though. Wow. It's fine. Thanks. It's fine. You want me to soda? No, bitch. I knocked on wood first, nigga. Fuck it. Fuck you. But it's interesting, though, because yeah, it's like, bro. bro, we're all so different. Right. But it's crazy. I'm, but see, I'm not going to lie. I, I like to go for the titties, though. The titties? I think I'm more I'm, of an I, ass guy. I think I, no, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. I think I mentioned this before on a podcast. I like to go for the titties because I think what girl don't like getting their titties played with? Listen to me. Listen I feel to like me. some girls that don't like that, though. No, 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 no. Listen. No, actually, I think they all do like that. Listen to me, bro. It's all about how you show the titty love. Listen, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah, a titty yeah. guru. I like nigga. sucking nipples. Yo, listen, bro. I am a titty guru. Do you suck nipples? Let me explain. Are you a baby? Bro, let me explain <laughs> to you. I stopped breastfeeding at four. At four? Yes. So you've been sucking the titties for mad long. Bro. Yeah, the water? Titty, this is what I do. Listen, bro. So fucking like if you show the titty like a certain I feel like a girl like if she like <laughs> alright this sounds crazy. I feel like if she kinda like lets you suck the titty, it's kinda like, okay, cool, like I'm kinda comfortable with you, you feel me? I mean if she letting you suck at the titties, like it's pretty comfortable. This is a thing, that's a thing, that's a thing that I noticed, right? In my encounter with women, you you gotta know how to move. And so you're a thought? No. Listen, I just had my fair share, you know. When you in, when you encounter these women, bro, you can't just be on some like you should go straight for the pussy, like yeah, trying yeah. to touch a coon or like they're like got, a flower. You have to be you, you know? gotta be gentle, my yeah, boy. You gotta, you gotta ease gentle. your way in, but bro. Here's the you thing, right? Because now, nah, see, if you're going straight for the pussy, you looking crazy, bro. You know, <laughs> you, I mean, sometimes I mean, that is the vibe. That's the thing. Like sometimes that is the vibe. Like, some but girls that is, they just like the to feel something inside. No, 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 no. I know that, but what I'm saying is like. For you to break that barrier, the first thing you can't go touch is the pussy. Like that, you moving too crazy, my boy. You think so? Yeah, like if you like if because right. what if you got in her ass and you just like no 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 slip no, your no, finger no, no, like on the no, bottom? No, no. You know, I'm, say, I'm saying like when it's that shorty that you first linking and it's kind of like 
y'all both like y'all want to fuck but y'all don't like y'all kind of want to see like what it's your first time fucking it's like whoa like i don't know what to expect type shit the first time fucking like, is weird yeah, yeah i'm talking about that stage that's it's the stage so that i'm weird. talking about right that's like the very beginning right when you was like talking high in the text like <laughs> but then in person it's just like <laughs> you it's know? different bro it's, it's always not the same it's yeah not the same because you got to read the room bro so it's, that's what i'm saying yeah. bro like that first time that you really when she let you like ah this is the thing right for me it's all about the first time that we do anything right if you let me suck the titty right Right, if I land on the titty, if like if you're comfortable with that, I feel like you letting me is like, like if once once you let me once you let me go on top of the titty and really know I always go for the, with titties, the titty, right? Though. I think like it's kind of like all right, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like you know me warming up, you know what I'm saying? The vibe, really, you know, going crazy with the energy, you know, like you just can't go, to, you know what I'm saying? You really ask? Yes, but not just selective. Okay, but. Fucking! It gotta look cute. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> the boho? <laughs> yeah, it gotta look cute. You know what I'm saying? I'm crying. It's I crazy, bro. No, no, no. I'm not gonna lie, yo. It gotta I, look cute. That's crazy, but I felt that. That's some cute. old nigga shit, though. You that really crazy, is some bro? old nigga shit. You know what's crazy, right? Like old niggas really like looking at a boho, be like, yeah, that should look fire. Like that's some <laughs> old nigga shit. You know what's crazy, right? It's like that's some '70s shit. Every time that we fuck a girl, like we that as know what their boho looks like, but they don't really like know what our buttholes actually look like oh they know okay they probably know i don't think they know no they know like i don't think they pay attention to it as much as us because remember when we fucking doggy style right your bowl is like right in front of me right do you put your thumb in it yes i like to put my is this my index finger uh, yeah i hope you know that. i like to put my index finger just bloop. like you press it for the bus yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know it's crazy like when i put my, my finger in it I feel my dick inside, like it's crazy. It's, I know what you mean. It's that's, crazy because, like, that's that is right there. Yeah, but but you know what the crazy part is, like that's that is the human body, bro. Like, yeah, bro, you you going crazy. That's crazy. You out here playing operating. like a clitoris is that as a premature penis. Yeah, it means we're all gay. So basically, women came from men. No, men came from women. So why don't we have a premature pussy? Exactly, nigga. Why we don't have a premature pussy, but they have a premature dick? Because everybody's a woman before they turn a man. In the egg. How? Listen, bro. The same the same way that you looking at me is the same way I was looking at everybody until I found this shit out in high school. Yeah. And when you're born, you are a woman before you turn into a man. Google it. Some shit with the motherfucking like chromosomes and some bullshit there. Oh, some X and the Y. X and the Y. Yeah, 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 yeah. Extra shit, bro. yeah, bro. So if you have... Nah, no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I was going to say some out of pocket shit. Hey, bro. I'm not gonna say. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say it at all. Uh, uh, yeah, bro. I think like you know what I'm saying like the titty, bro. It's just titty. like I'm a professional. I'm titty. A, Listen, I'm I a like professional ass, titty sucker, bro. But you know what's crazy, bro? And, like, and, and, I like wait, I like wait, wait, petite wait. girls. Like I don't like big shit. Listen, and that's kind of gay. First of all, listen, bro. I think I think one of one of the best things that yeah. is like because I really like like I love I love making love to titties, bro. To all, to, I, I don't discriminate. Sucking on titties is way. I don't. Dis, I don't discriminate on all the titties, bro. I've never came. But when I get like a nice, but listen, when you get a nice size titty, that like you be like, mm. yeah. You be nibbling the the nipples. Yo, like yeah, like yeah. oh the titty, like it's like it's like a nice like. Yeah, the I could put both body my hands crazy, on this. I could put both my hands on this bitch and just yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me show you something. Like, all, right? we, all we got is dick. Yo, like. <laughs> listen. I, I got I, I I was told that you know very good at you know titty sucking titty sucking sort of kind of like not that long ago ish around the last in the last six seven months span you know what I'm saying so you know goddamn titty it kind of kind of really just boosted my ego even more because it's like yo I know because I really love titties bro like I do it for the titty I'm gonna make that a thing I do it for the titty. I like ass, but I don't. No, I love ass. I'm just saying though, but I but really I, enjoy. But I, I like. I'm the type of person like. And please, ladies, don't feel like I'm trying to like you know. Uh, what's the what's the word? Sexualize them. Sexualize your body. I'm just actually appreciating. Bro, the titty. Like I really I just love about, bro? titty. They sexualize themselves nowadays. I'm pretty sure they'll be. No, 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 no. no. I, I'm not talking about that. I'm fuck just, these bitches, nigga, bro. Fuck you. I'm just letting the woman know. You know, out there, the beautiful woman. You know, letting y'all know, like, it's out of love. And then they take all She's your money and then you say otherwise. Take my money, baby. But listen, now nah, you're bugging. 
But listen, bro. It's, it ain't it's, tricking if you got it. That's what they said. That's not what I said. That's what they said. I mean, listen, I told you a few episodes. If you want to impress a girl, go to Canal Street, get a, a, <laughs> a, a fake, fake LV bag. She's not going to know. Bag. She's not going to know. She's not going to know. Trust it depends me. what girl you're trying to impress, though. But that's the like thing. You can't, you can't, you do, can't do, you do that can't to do a girl that. they're trying to impress. Nah, you can't do that to a girl that already making money and she buying home shit but like that's that. That's the thing. You can't do that to a girl that you're trying to impress. Who said because nigga, it why, depends the level of the to, girl. It depends the level of the girl. If she nah, don't, bro. if she don't buy Louis bags, listen. If she don't buy Louis bags or Gucci bags or into design and shit like that, right? And you want to pull some master shit like that, you pick the girl that doesn't fucking buy that shit or doesn't know about it because she gonna be like, oh look, I got my Louis bag because she's not into the culture. It's different from the ones that are actually going out here and buying these bags and really into it and trying to fucking compete with other women about who got the best bag. Now you playing for, with fire, my boy. But if you like, just bro, pick the imagine one going that don't to VR, know, you bought Imagine going to that with like 30 bags and you meet 30 women and you give them all the bag and you fuck all of them. I mean, nigga, bitches was fucking giving it up for Michael Kors bag. Exactly. So just imagine that. Yo, the Michael Kors era was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that time yeah, in New York? Yeah, had the watches and everything. Yo, niggas was going crazy, but yeah, I got that Michael Kors. Like. New York City is very trendy. Yeah. I felt bad for Michael Kors, though, because they made his shit like, it's like, damn, your shit was popping and they play me your shit, bro. Like, yeah. I guess that's the. They New do York. that with certain brands, though. Which that's is the New York crazy. culture effect. You think so? Hell yeah, I know so. It's pretty interesting. I don't know. That's crazy though, bro. Because it's like, I I don't know. I think me personally, like, life is weird. It life is weird, but at the same time, I think niggas gotta understand that like this is certain shit. Like, it is what it is. Kind of like you could yeah you could question it, but nigga, you still gonna play a part of the game, you know? Because at the end of the day, like, if you want yourself a certain type of woman, Earth is flat. She exists, but. You just got to be in a different stratosphere for that. You yeah. know what I mean? And then you got to do certain things to even be in that stratosphere. That's just, that's what comes with it, bro. Like, it's like, it's like, a, it's like working for a goal or working to be in a, at a certain position. And then you get there and it's like, all right, cool. What comes with this? This comes with this. You know? Life so. is going to be weird, like, when we have money. I'm really, I'm really curious as to how that's going to go. Um. Oh, once I get mail, once, I, once we get these mills, you feel me? Like, I think I think everybody's life I think everybody's life would change, but not everybody's life would when you get money, I think everybody's life would be what it what what it would be if they already had the money. This is the thing, right? When you don't have a certain amount of bread and you're working a nine to five or you're doing certain shit and you you know what I'm saying, like still going through the motion, like it's hard for you to even think about anything else. Yeah. Once, if you, for example, let's say if everybody, everybody in the world or everybody right now, right? Let's say if you know that your bills will be paid every single month, every year without you doing too much, without you doing nothing, your bills will be paid. You don't got to move a muscle. You don't got to worry about like this little nine to five or no bullshit. You know that your bills are going to be paid and you have enough money to where you can actually just sit back and think. Okay, what do I want to do today? Very good question. Your life changes. Your life will all your your life was always gonna be like that. The money doesn't change you; it just amplifies who you were already, bro. It amplifies what would you do if you had the opportunity to actually think and be yourself. That's all it is. If a nigga get, when I think about a, money, real quick, last thing uh-huh. I'm gonna say: if a nigga get money and he start being a bum ass nigga and like start treating people a certain way, it wasn't the money that changed him. No, he just had the opportunity to be really be himself. Yeah, that's all it is. Like when I think about money, I just think about fun, bro. Like <laughs> you know, like I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Let's see what we got there. Well, I think I, I think. You just gotta be. I, well, I'm not you. I'm just saying you in general. You just have to be smart with your money at that point. You know, where you can, you know, go and have your fun, but also, you know, have that money working for you and you know coming back in. Because you know, niggas got money every and day is gonna be a movie. Oh no, it's, it's, it's like crazy. it could legit be any random shit. Nigga, waking up in a big ass house is gonna be a movie. No right, or just the fact that you could just wake up and legit just do whatever you exactly. want. Exactly. You know, it's different. It's like, you go from you go from you go from surviving to living. Yeah, and you just completely look at the at the earth, different nigga. You really look like I right, bet. Now I got time. Is this shit really flat or what? Like, <laughs> you got time to do that. <coughs> Excuse me, you got time to do that shit now, bro. Like it's it's really crazy, bro. Like it's it's, it's I don't know. It's some shit, bro. You just gotta make time, you know. You just gotta make time, bro. But see, I don't know. I think, I think 
I think that's really like what it is, what it boils down to at the end of the day, you know? It just amplifies who you were already were, who you were already. And at the end of the day, I don't we can't blame the money. That's the thing. <laughs> People like to blame money and say that it's the root of all evil. I think it's love. I think money is definitely love. No, no, no. What I'm saying, I think love is the root of all evil. It is. Everything that you do, you do because of the love behind it, the feeling behind it, that momentarily pleasure that you get behind it. For example, the money, the counting the money, the going and the spending the money. Like I love, feel you like lo- you love it. I you feel love like rich feeling. sex is a thing. Right, but you love it. You love that feeling. That's another thing too, bro. Like when you get to that position, right? You could do certain shit now, nigga. Now, if you were, if you already had your lady, now, nigga, now you having sex in different places. Yeah. Now you just really moving different. And now you, uh, sex you, is definitely different when it's like a scenery type of thing. Right now you just really going crazy. It's like you know you can really just do certain shit. Not only with that, but just in general, bro. You could just really breathe and just go and do whatever it is that you got to do. You know. It's the know. love that you have. It's it's not really like but to bring it back to the whole money shit. Yeah. And how it's not the root of all evil. It's really love, bro. Like, it's just the love that you get. That feeling, that satisfaction of just being able to do certain things. You love it. You love that feeling. No matter what it is. Man, it's, I don't know. Life is interesting, bro. Because it's like, we really only get one life. So it's like... That we know of. Why should we, like, limit ourselves to some certain things, but... Well, I don't I don't think we limit ourselves, though. It's like, you got to sacrifice something for something. What do you mean? Like... Well, every decision that you make, it's always like two, two roads. But it has to be like that if you think about it, though, because mm. at, you have so many options, right? Depending on no matter what it is that you do, if you do like right now, if I if I would have never did that, you see how I just dropped it? I tried to go pick it up the perfect way, but it didn't happen, right? Yo, if gravity was real, hold up, hold up, hold up, because yeah, I, yeah. I don't want to forget that happened for a specific reason. So when you when you're given options, I could have I've had the option right there to actually pick that up better. And demonstrate what I want yeah. to demonstrate, right? Hmm. I had the option because I could have did it, but I tried to be too quick and I fucked up. You see what I'm saying? Like you have the option to do certain things, and the outcome will be different. The way if I would have taken my time right now, see, I was gonna do that to give an example, and it ended up being an example itself. If I would have taken my time to actually go and grab it, I could have did it smoother. Would have looked better for the camera. Yeah, I did it. So it's the same shit with anything, bro. Like if you decide to, this is the route that you want to take. You're giving up this thing, but if you would have taken this route, you giving up this, but your outcome might be different. God damn, life is full of choices. Life full of choices. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe every Friday at 11 a.m. Make sure you send it to your mom, your daddy, your grandmother, your great grandmother, everybody you fuck with, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your side bitch, your side nigga, your your mistress. You know what I'm saying? Your fucking your your abandoned daddy. Um, mail it to him with the child support check. Cause fuck these That's deadbeat motherfuckers, up. man. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's fucked up. That's a that's a perfect way to end it. Yeah. Hey man. Like we say each and every episode, 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 episode. We don't say that every episode. Only he says that because you know he he smokes and turns a little. Type shit. Anyways, I'm not gonna lie. I was fraud. We was fraud. Shout out Lumpies. Shout out Frank Bank OG. Shout out at the Smokers Club for always sponsoring us each and every motherfucking episode. episode. Oh my God, bro. Like, I'm really excited. You know, we're moving on to what? 17 now? After this one? After this one, 17, yeah. After this one, 17. Holy fucking shit. 17 weeks. Man, listen. We're going to be tuning. Yo, listen. I'm not going to lie for the next year. Yeah, coming in, we got a lot of big yeah, news. It's gonna be crazy. We got a lot of big things coming in, man. We're excited to announce that. We can't wait. We're really about to take this whole podcast shit to a whole different level. We want to thank each and every one of you for fucking with us and tuning in each week. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and let us know in the comments what y'all like, what y'all don't like. We are open to opinions. You know, we do this for y'all because we like to entertain y'all. You know what I'm saying? We think it's cool to have certain conversations. And, you know, reach out and, you know, tell us your opinions. We'll reach out. You know, I seen some people do it on Instagram and we fuck with y'all for supporting 
and you know interacting with us and you know just really getting the algorithms going crazy you know because we fuck with y'all man so you know we're gonna remember those special moments we're gonna film a fucking documentary of us going from here to the top you know what i'm saying because roll the 80 mil motherfuckers you know, this is talking about. Okay, the motherfucking mil, bitch. come on man some motherfucking come on let me get some gunshots too bro fuck is you niggas talking about come on man fuck is you niggas talking about some gunshots for the shit we doing man Anyways, it's your boy C's. I'm here with my nigga Ethan. Make sure you tune in yes, each sir. and every Friday at 11 a.m. We out.